So for mesothelioma, there are a few uh, very interesting developments. Uh, first of all, over the last 15 years, we have had uh, chemotherapy as the standard, which is not really um, made any great progress. So it's still a very aggressive disease and uh, with five year survival figures of less than 10%. Now, what uh, we know is that there is a quite an interest in um, the use of immuno-oncology drugs, the ICIs. And there are a few uh, reports in second line, which I presented. And in second line, it implies that if you use one drug, uh, like pembrolizumab or nivolumab, it's not that active. So we were a bit disappointed, but there are also some uh, data of the uh, nivolumab and ipilimumab that have been tested in, in also my institution and, and others, where we found uh, that it is much more promising to combine these drugs. So there was a press release this year in uh, April from Bristol Myers Squibb that their first line study was positive, immuno checkpoint inhibitors versus GIMO. And that is very important because uh, these data will be presented at the World Bank uh, Conference in August 8th, uh, Presidential Symposium, and this might change the first line approach for patients. Uh, so this is important news for immuno-oncology, and I also reported here on the ILCC meeting that a combination of chemotherapy with Durvalumab in a single arm gave a very nice 20 months um, over median overall survival. And, and these are quite interesting figures because uh, normally we come up to 15 maximum of 16, uh, 16 months.